Leon Panetta is a former congressman and chief of staff under President Bill Clinton. Democratic Party officials say he has been chosen to head the CIA in part because he has no ties to the agency's detention and interrogation policies under President Bush, including waterboarding. Panetta has publicly opposed the CIA's methods of interrogation. President-elect Barack Obama praised Panetta on Tuesday. But he added that he has not yet made a formal announcement. I have the utmost respect for Leon Panetta. Uh, I, I think that he is one of the finest public servants that we've had. Uh, he brings uh, extraordinary management skills, uh, great political savvy, uh, a uh, impeccable record of integrity. Mr. Obama said he is putting together a top-notch intelligence team. I think what you're also going to see is a team that is committed to uh, breaking uh, with some of the past practices and concerns that uh, have, uh, I think, uh, tarnished uh, the image of the agencies, uh, the intelligence agencies, as well as U.S. foreign policy. Yet some lawmakers, including Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, are skeptical about Panetta because he lacks intelligence experience. Anthony Cordesman is a national security analyst with the Center for Strategic and International Studies. When somebody comes in from the outside, their focus is bureaucratic. It's getting influence with the president rather than serving the full group of users. They come in condemning the intelligence community not for its real mistakes, but because they have their own political bias. Still, Cordesman says there have been some successful CIA directors who were outsiders. The bigger challenge, he says, is reforming an agency in upheaval following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on New York and Washington. Panetta, if confirmed, would have authority over the hunt for al-Qaeda terrorists around the world. Later, Hong Fincher, VOA News.